Today, I'm going to give a quick overview of some of the topics that may be covered in an introductory linguistics class. Linguistics is the study of language, in particular its structure and its use. There are many different levels at which to study language. There's phonetics, which is the study of the physical properties of speech sounds. These properties include how and where sounds are articulated in the mouth, called articulatory phonetics. He, de, he, da, he, gi, he, ga. As well as the acoustic properties of speech, called the acoustic phonetics. There's also phonology, which describes how various speech sounds interact with one another. For instance, why the plural marker in cats sounds different than the plural marker in dogs. Morphology describes the smallest units of meaning and how they combine to form words. For instance, unbelievable is composed of three morphemes, each with their own meaning, un, believe, and a bull. Syntax describes how words combine to form sentences. For instance, depressed man that played clarinet the, are all fine English words, but they can only combine to form a sentence in a limited number of ways. You'll notice that some of these sentences sound a little weird. That's because of the last module of linguistics that I'll talk about, semantics. Semantics helps us determine the meanings of sentences. For instance, only animate nouns like man, not clarinet, can be depressed. And only animate nouns can be the subject of the verb to play. Semantics also helps us differentiate the meanings between sentences like John and Mary went to the store, and the sentence John or Mary went to the store. Of course, there are many other subdisciplines of linguistics that I don't have time to go into now, but they're all very interesting and I highly recommend reading more about them. The primary focus of linguistics is to describe how people speak. Linguistics is not concerned with telling people how they should or should not speak. All those rules that you learned in high school English class, like no splitting of infinitives and no dangling participles, you can forget about them. If you want to boldly defy those English teachers whose rules you thought you'd never escape from, by all means, go ahead. This is not English class and no one is telling you how to speak. Instead, we are describing how you do speak, and there are some interesting patterns to be found. This is the most common and irritating question you'll be asked by people when they first find out that you study linguistics. It's irritating because the study of linguistics does not require knowing how to speak many languages. Remember, linguistics is the study of languages for the purpose of describing them, not necessarily to speak them. Some linguists might choose to learn to speak many languages, but it's not required. Linguistics is not easy, but it does have a certain logic that should make it accessible. I'll try to present this logic in subsequent videos, but these videos are not designed to be a substitute for lectures and readings. They're really just a supplement in case you get stuck and need a reminder. If you're ever having trouble, please ask your professors or TAs for help. They think linguistics is a blast and they would be happy to share their enthusiasm with you. Good luck.